The match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. It's always well worth taking the ferry across from the European side to the Asian side of the Bosphorus, as we have done. Welcome to the Kadikoi district in Istanbul, the home of Fenerbahce. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. It's Fenerbahce facing Galatasaray. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the Fenerbahce lineup. And the starting 11 for Galatasaray. Well, they're playing with two strikers. One will look to stretch the pitch by making forward runs. The other will look to get on the ball and make things happen. But it's still important that they work as a pair. And now they get the ball rolling. Agun. Options in the middle. Mauro Icardi here. Can't miss, surely. And still danger here. But not to be. It is offside. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He oh, could the be... chance is on, Stuart. Can they slot it home? And a touch off the defender, last of all, so a corner. And taken short. That's a useful cross. And blocked for now. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Attila Salai. It's with Rossi. Well, for Fenerbahce, it was never going to be easy. And in the event, a draw last time out against Sivaspor. How might this one go, Stuart? Yeah, there wasn't too much between them in that one-all draw. Today, I see it being another close game. I just can't separate these two teams. Must take the lead here. Oh, it's in! The opening goal of the derby! And listen to what it means! Well, as you can see, what an excellent backfield this is to set up the goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal.
1 0 then. Sergio Oliveira. Joao Pedro. An attempting the through ball. Vanega! And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Good looking sequence. Zaniolo preferring to go infield. Will he play it in? Not quite the cross he was hoping for. Counter attacking, very much an option. Now the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Well, as you can see, Galatasaray have enjoyed more of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. No doubt they go to work moving it around again. A chance to whip it in. Torreira, that's well blocked. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Ferdi Kadioglu. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Poor pass under no real pressure. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Oh, lovely ball. Credit to them for winning back possession. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, a lot to like about Mauro Icardi and what he put into the first half. Stuart, what did you make of his performance? Yeah, he's done OK in that first. And now they get the ball rolling. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. He read the situation defensively and did his job. William Arau. And it's with Osai Samuel. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Lincoln. Ever Banega. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. 
but here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top class goal. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. They have to take it away. Agun. It needs an accurate cross. The chance is on. Ball is loose. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. But they took care of the situation defensively. A danger here as he runs at them. And whipped into the box. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Agun. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. And time for the change now. But he's gone short with it. And the cross into the middle. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Well, the stats confirm what we've been seeing. Fenerbahce haven't controlled the play so far, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And there to intervene. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Mauro Icardi here, and no way through. Ten minutes left for play. Sergio Oliveira. This looks threatening. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. And the substitution will occur now. Played over. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Over it comes. Well, no problems defensively. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Yep. Corner kick played in. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Enjoying time and space here. Thwarting him. Can he get one back? The timing was perfect. It had to be. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Racing forward, trying to catch them out.
Sasha Bowie. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Totally wired in in every way as far as this match is concerned. Ever Banega. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was. A chance to whip it in. Torreira, that's well blocked. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's up. This looks threatening. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. And the substitution will occur now. A oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Corner kick played in. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there.